Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, if you check the date, I'm not there here. Yeah, if you check, uh, today is November 9th, and the time is 9:33. And if that's 2018, and if you look at my calf and my Jalavia, you know what time is it? It's Friday. Um, as usual, my name is Kaunda, and I call myself a digital entrepreneur. And that's my number, that's my email, that's my website. Uh, if you check it out, and uh, today we have actually had a couple of the tutorials already at your convenience you can check if you pull your browser you go to youtube and then you type uh, web extremists how about seven day already my uh, my goal is to get about 100 videos and average like one hour each and <laughs> i have added that about four hours but like average uh one hour so that'd be like in all hundred hours of like tutorials about digital entrepreneurship and um today i decided to talk about the basis this is a site and the key things i do digital skills training online business i do which in this video um, or in this tutorial i'm calling as a digital entrepreneurship you will see the differences digital entrepreneurship is the same as the internet business is the same as uh, digital marketing is the same what, what is it what is web marketing what is internet marketing what is online business what is online marketing hopefully you'll be able to cover all these details and if you look at my vision like it's so simple like uh, that's it if that's it you can read it <laughs> and then these are my target tertiary student graduate job seekers service personnel and uh, currently like there's another batch i'm targeting and that is napco uh, Basically, the youth, the youth, um, and it's two things. Like the one who has interest to open his own business, this tutorial is for you. And if you are working for someone and you want to better yourself, this tutorial is also for you. In terms of the internet in terms of the internet and in, these are basically the topics we've been looking at web analytics search engine optimization um, search engine marketing video marketing domain name trading email marketing blogging data currency social media administration so basically that is it uh, i have some articles on it already blog and i will encourage everybody to read especially this guy he has an interesting story to tell he wanted to scam me so i use him as a case study like pretending i'm a dump so i just following him trying all his steps everything he used to do this i'll do and that he works for apple and he wants to give me a business like a job so Later, oh, later, but it's, it's an interesting story at your convenience. Go through it, um, and that's it, um, about it. And these are the videos I have about seven of them already in that particular channel. I have a couple of others that is um, not in that channel, but this is a channel dedicated to uh, digital entrepreneurship. So that's basically about me and today we want to uh, look at the basis of it the basis of it i've compiled this as the main topics we'll be looking at like 
uh, first of all, if you see digital entrepreneur, like who is that person? Or like if you talk about digital entrepreneurship, what is it? So and then um we second we also look at who can be a digital entrepreneur or like who can go into digital entrepreneurship. That's it. And then the third aspect of it we will see is it profitable. Like it is something you can devote your whole life on and say, Man, this is what I'm doing. And if you finally decide this is what I'm going to do. Like, what are the platforms you'll be using? Like, what is your office? Like, what tools will you be using? Like, your pen, your pencil, your marker, your drawing board, your files uh -huh. for a digital entrepreneur. What are yours? And then we also finally, finally we look at uh, which businesses can be digitized. Like. Is there a business that uh, you can do if you are a digital entrepreneur? Just those are some of the things we'll be looking at. So without wasting my time, let's move straight to uh, today's this or let's say today's tutorial. And the point one, like um digital entrepreneur. Who is a digital entrepreneur? Uh, it's simple to explain if you know what entrepreneur is so if you are an entrepreneur like say in lima you've taken your own life into your own hands like you are going to do your own thing to take care of your own life hey, like someone is not dictating come on we're five to eight and then i'll give you thousand cities at the end of the month if you can do xyz you can do abc no if you take your own life into your own hands and then try to feed your own life by your own means then i would say you are an entrepreneur and it comes with key things like there's no doubt you're taking a risk yes let's say if i have a bsc i have a degree you have a degree then you apply for job i say no i'm not going to apply for job i want to do something for myself it can fail it can succeed all things i'll invest into my business it can fail so basically i'm taking a risk and, but that is also a critical part if you are an entrepreneur if risk scares you then first of all you can be an entrepreneur so basically that is what an entrepreneur is um i there's an interesting book i will recommend um the kindle i i bought one book on amazon it didn't need to far for entrepreneurship um he's a Ghanaian, very nice book but if you really want to be an entrepreneur I think everything you need as a Ghanaian is in that book. The the concept, uh, what it entails, how to begin, like get ideas to like to, to listen to operate your business on and uh, why that book had disappeared. A brief history of time. Is he still in Hawkins book? No. Uh, I'm sure I have to maybe sync my account again. You only have to read it in the Amazon Kindle book. You have to read it in the Kindle application. You, like you can copy it to a place. So you log in to Amazon site, then it will sync to the Kindle, and then you can be reading the book. So that is. Um, let me see if I can get the name of the book. Uh, uh, it's something like this. I just hope my guess will be. Yeah, this is the book. Uh, yeah, exactly. This is it. This is it. The, the, uh, the paperback is 
258 dollars but um reshape intentionality gonna change address so i bought a candle and that is like the soft copy the hard the hard copy is uh, 25 dollars and i'm sure they will be they will ship it to you but i think if you have a phone and with this digital device the kindle is is okay you don't have to buy the 25 and put it in a shelf when you're done so uh, it's a book i really recommend and i i don't know him i i have nothing to do with him it's not like i'm promoting his book it's a book someone recommended to me um one Ima, emmanuel he said kumasi hype he did a recommendation i bought and i read and realized wow this is the book every entrepreneur need in ghana so that's it so um back to uh, our tutorial first we've seen who an entrepreneur is someone who has taken his own life into his own hands to feed his own life like you are designing your own business you are running your own business you're taking the risk for whatever comes out if it's good alhamdulillah and if it goes back it's your own responsibility that is an entrepreneur so out of these entrepreneurs the one who will say no me my business i would run it on the internet my business i'm going to do my own business but i'm not going to open a shop in a doom i'm not going to shop open a shop in a circle i'm not going to open a shop in lagos no i'm going to run it purely on the internet then that person becomes a digital entrepreneur so it's part of he's an entrepreneur all right but his purpose is to run his business on the internet that is just all so the difference between let's say uh, any other entrepreneur and a digital entrepreneur is the one who uses the internet as his platform or technically he uses the digital medium as his platform and then you going forward you see the differences in this like digital entrepreneur or like uh, internet entrepreneur you go through all the terms so basically that is it if you're a digital entrepreneur yeah entrepreneur all right you have to get all the features of an entrepreneur that courage never to give up of entrepreneurs the risk that comes with entrepreneurship all these things everything of an entrepreneur you need to have it but your medium your medium of running your business of marketing your products is the internet or the digital medium and that's what makes you a digital entrepreneur so that is that end the part one we've seen who is an entrepreneur and if in short if you want to talk about the data uh, i've been using the internet but digital goes beyond the internet uh, but the key thing in the digital for business is to represent the internet and then let's see point two who can be an a digital entrepreneur um if only you can be an entrepreneur you can be a digital entrepreneur like we've discussed uh, in point one the difference is the platform you are going to use the difference is the platform you are going to use if you are any other entrepreneur you can have your office you get up in the morning you go there you do your thing evening you come back and but if you're a digital your platform is the internet now if maybe you go by strict definitions then you will say his platform is purely the digital it's purely the digital but in practical terms um if i would say especially as our part of the country or like our part of the world if you take ghana or let's say africa or digital platforms are not that matured now you can see i have i'm going to run everything digital you meet people online do business discussions online uh, your invoices online 
your um, accounting everything about your business is online uh, there are occasions practically you will have to uh, add offline stuff to it so <coughs> that is it it's in book you see you're doing everything together uh, like but in reality nah, you have to miss a bit of offline you have to attend function like programs and then to do meet up and that helps like in the marketing aspect of your business and this is offline so who can be a digital entrepreneur definitely everybody can be a digital entrepreneur so far as you can be an entrepreneur the difference is you have to learn one more skill like the skill of the internet and then that is uh, uh, what you add to the skills of your entrepreneurship other than that, everything you have as an entrepreneur is intact. You really have to learn the digital aspect of the world. And then, so that is it. Basically, who, who can be a digital entrepreneur? Anybody who can be an entrepreneur and is willing to learn the digital skill, then the person can be an a digital entrepreneur. Now, this is it. Um, point three. Is it really, really like profitable? Let's say you finish school then you will say no i'm not going to search for job i will not apply for anything i'm going to do my own business and uh, i'm going to do especially in the digital way in a country where uh, according to i think the it about 35 percent of uh, the country the people are online that's ghana from uh, i think that's it yeah, 2017 data and then there's another uh, company too, they do um, kind of online survey to see the number of people online and things. They, they are called um, We Social, that's the name of the company. Uh, we Are Social. Um, you can subscribe to their services. They give you quarterly, the monthly articles of how the internet is faring. Like uh, in, I think, June, around half of uh, 2018 um, that was when 50% of the people in the world rich got access to the internet so as we speak now I think it's about 51 day 51% of the world are online so um, is it profitable to say I'm going to run a business targeting the internet like just going to do it on the internet especially if you are in Ghana uh, Nigeria uh, I think Nigeria, Nigeria is around 40. Anyone yeah, interested can do that look up. Uh, I think Mali, Mali is around 48 percent. Uh, it's surprising why Ghana is around 30, 35. See. So uh, let's see the profitability. Uh, uh, me personally, if uh, from my own experience, and I've been doing thing kind of stuff. Uh, I think from 2011, 2011 when I was doing service, then I I, I started it when I was doing service. Service time I was actually paying uh, like I was receiving double money. I uh, like service would pay you, and then time it was around two twenty. But at the end of the month, too, I was getting hundred dollars from. Uh, this internet stuff that is um, one woman she's in US and uh, basically she introduced me to everything everything I contacted her on Skype like what do you want you to be my friend and uh, uh, let me see I just went with dating mind um, that thing you know so but I don't like she was into business and uh, <laughs> So just doing everything online and I say hey, okay so there's something like this okay so I learned a lot from from her and uh, around 20 that's about two years um, after 20 somewhere in November 20 or December there about um, I had to end the contract with her because I couldn't report on time like that time the doomsday was an East Peak you like you go for like a call a gig you go for a gig and like 
5 p.m. we are meeting to discuss how far you've died it. <laughs> 4 o'clock, you tell you you are going off to the next two days so that you can get light. So I had to end it. But that actually taught me sense like, oh wow, there is something like this you can do. So I've been doing it since then. And um, I call myself the digital entrepreneur, but I don't do everything 100% online. I still do offline thing. But hopefully, going forward, the time will read like everything I will do will be will be online. So if I have to come back to the main track of um, is it profitable? Yes, I would say it's profitable because if you look at uh, with my. Uh, little experience. Uh, I started getting hundred dollars. Then um, it got to that was 2011. Around 2013, I was getting about 170 dollars a, a a month. I was getting about 170 dollars a month. And um, <laughs> I'm just trying to be real. Uh, I can, I can produce the receipt, it was through Western Union, and uh, anyway, let's, let's move forward, uh, because the, the thing is, uh, it's not like, can, you start today, next day, you are getting $2,000 every week, it's haram, it doesn't work like that, it doesn't work like that, and uh, it's very troubling, if, if, I see those posters on Facebook. Like we are not being real to ourselves. That's not how the internet business is. So like how digital entrepreneurship is. So like internet businesses. It's not like you subscribe today the the next day you are getting two thousand dollars in your account. It's not like that. If you check uh, I think that's app work. A word or work. Um I think it's work. Okay, like this is where most of the digital entrepreneurs are. Like they are doing things online. They are doing projects. You hire them. They will do projects for you. Um, and if you go, let's say for accounting service. Uh, they want me to register. I'm not registering. And uh, like uh, Hassan, Hassan from uh, okay, our source. This is from US. He will tell you he's charging forty five dollars every hour. So like, if you give him a work that takes like uh, three days to complete, and a day is um, and a day is um. Let's say 45, so 45 times 24 times 3. You take calculator and 3 days he's speaking like uh, $3,240. So if you multiply it by our currency, let's say roughly 5, and then you see uh, for 3 days he's speaking 16,000. He's speaking 16,000. So Someone can easily show you this and tell you, man, this is it. Like, you can get it. You see, but the truth of the matter is, if you take Hassan and then uh, you are to see his uh, experience, <laughs> you realize if Hassan is not even online, he's offline, he will still take such big money. If he is to do your work for you, you see, this is um, QuickBooks. I have listened to accounting QuickBooks. Uh, I don't know what they are. I've heard it before, but I don't know what it is. Uh, it is zero expert. I'm sure. It, I know it's for accounting, but like I don't know what they are. Like I've never did it before. So, and then this that is uh, he has over nine years experience. Uh, and if you are to actually um, look at his CV, you realize 
if you are to even call him to come and be your lecturer or like you have a school and you are trying to get him on board as a lecturer you have a program you are trying to get on him, to him like to be part of he will really charge huge and the reason is simple he has that skills he has that experience that if he's not even online even offline he still makes big that's the whole thing so you can't subscribe to app work and in your real life you you don't have any skills and like you'll be expecting someone to pay you 45 dollars every hour like no one will pay you you subscribe here and it will take five years you don't even get a single work because practically you don't have the skills so that is that is the whole thing about it internet if you have a skill you want to put online you should really be the best in that skills like uh, mark said the facebook uh, let's see you the, the one who did it uh, uh, mark Zuckerberg. that to be like to be successful as an entrepreneur whatever work you are doing you have to be the go-to in your area if you are in Kumasi and you then you do like uh, you do shoes like and your shoe is not the best in Kumasi, you can't get the best money or like the biggest money. So that that is basically what it is. If you even have to lobby and get which ever marketers on board, if your product is not the best in Kumasi, if people can say oh who be painting there, yeah, then if you won't paint, then. Uh, X man's paint is the best. If you want artwork, then X man Y man's work is the best. If you are not the go to in your area, if you come online, you are nothing. No one will mind you. Remember, we've said fifty percent. So if in your community of let's say uh, hundred people, two hundred people, or like thousand, or like ten thousand, or like fifty thousand. You are not the best there, and you think you can come and meet half of the world, and people will choose your service over the others. It it won't happen. It won't happen. So for it to be, uh, how do you call it, uh, profitable, whatever you are doing, make sure you have the right skills. You have the practical skills. If like offline, you you can really teach accounting. And if you are to start accounting like uh, classes, let's say in Kumasi, and people will leave whichever one they are doing and attend yours, then that means Kumasi, you are the go to. If you come to online, you will still, yeah, you make it big. But if you start your whatever you are doing in Kumasi, and even in Kumasi, you are not the best. If, or let's say you are in Sunyai, if Sunyai, you are not the best. Or you are in one fear, my hometown. If one fear, you are not the best. And you think you are coming to open a business in Kumasi and you'll be the best. No, if you come, you have to be a jack of your home. Then if you step out, then Jack Jack will meet and then you compete and then hopefully you can overcome the other jacks. But if even in your home you are not the jack and you are stepping out, you think you can be jack. No, you can't be jack. So for it to be profitable. You really have to get a real skills and you have to be a master in that skills. I remember, um, uh, yeah, truth be told, these issues with uh, network marketing, uh, it has always troubled my heart. And, uh, I remember somewhere 2009, I think um, 14 there, 2014 there, I went to Accra and I'm in Kumasi, I, so I went to Accra, I met one guy, and, no, I, it was around my dinner and, no, no, my dinner, mid year, mid year, like, and if not even enter, so I, around mid year, I saw a poster, like online business. I said, wow, that was, I've been doing it for the past two years, or like three years to that 2014. So I saw it, I said, wow, this thing is, is it's like, it's now picking, it's really picking in Ghana, so let me attend. And I, 
I got there, it was around um, Kunglu, around Kunglu, so one IT hub there, I attended and I went and I realized it was about digital marketing, uh, how do you call it, network marketing. So I entered and I said, no, like everything he was teaching was like, subscribe the next two weeks, he will be rich. And the, particip uh, the participants were like, wow, wow, wow. Ah. So I was looking at the work I had to do before the end of the month, I'll get $100. And this guy just uh, making it look like, man, just subscribe, get four people, go and sleep, that's so all. I said, ah. I, well, I have one friend, a uh, prince from 104. We are in the same platform, very troublesome guy. And what's that platform? He once says something, he's into accounting, and it still rings in my mind, like, as a basic rule, that um, that money, by his definition, must be scarce. <laughs> you don't have to get it easily. That is the nature of money. So, if... Anything you are proposed with, if it looks too easy, like that money you are going to get is too easy, that you should run away from it. And that is not the qualities of money. Like that is not how money comes by easy. No, that's not how money comes by. You have to really suffer before you get it. That's the nature of money. So anyone who proposes something, then it's kind of looking into easy to get that money your parents spent over 50 years and they never got it and someone is proposing a plan that is making it look like uh, in two weeks you double your money in four weeks you you'll be a millionaire that you should run away from it is is that's not how money is so i was in the program and i Afterwards, of course, you, you, you can't go and then tell them hey, well, everything you are doing is wrong. So I joined and then we all laugh where it has supposed to be. When the money we are to get since big, we will say, wow. So afterward, then I approached the guy and like, we did a bit of discussions just to let him know, like, I have questions to what he said, like, uh, and what the people didn't realize is, uh, all this his own account he had it was around 30 dollars in his own account that market the uh, network marketing he was doing and then he has been doing it for about uh, let's say three or so months i was told that was a, like it was early days in ghana for that particular networking service so he has done it for about three or three. he was having just around 30 dollars in his account and he's telling people do X, Y, Z, get just four people that you'll be a rich man in the next week or next two weeks. So we did a lot of discussions and then we shared contact and he actually told me like uh, uh, he linked me to he will link me up to one guy in Kumasi here so that we can set it up in Kumasi here that, that networking business network marketing of that particular company and uh, it was massive save massive save that was the name and um it was health products health products um there is a nice word for it it's like uh, you are creating good health like out of uh, not like on drug and body drug but traditional ways of doing things so that your health will improve the health expert have a nice way of calling it so there are books you will read and then you'll be telling people like do this do this do this and those books you have a license they will give you those books you have a license to print and sell so it's another way of business itself but if you recommend someone, the person comes, then uh, your money doubles based on what uh, the structure is. Whether it's like 
a three by three matrix or three by four like you need three people to join you need four people and then you so there are two different ways so that was around 2014 i think early 2014 there it was massive sale so he told me to join the guy in kumasi here so that you started that but i said no, i don't have interest in this like they 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 won what i saw is there were no skills there like just go and tell people oh this is good come and subscribe like i didn't see any practical skills like you are learning from there so i just said no i don't have interest so i came to kumasi and i actually linked up with the guy and i called him he came and then we sat we did his cash and i said look uh, this is good but um why not we train people in skills like to the network marketing we part with our skills we are training like marketing products uh, don't hide it like yeah, uh, this is a, a whatever word so but let's create actually like uh, let's say we are teaching X let's say we are teaching how to um, let's say handle social media how to uh, I actually listed the things uh, that I'm comfortable with like search engine optimization from my site but then time I hadn't built this site yet but uh, I've been doing this with the woman in the US so I knew them I said look this social media web analysis search engine optimization content creation so why not we actually do the program and they be training people in this i don't see this massive seed thing as a uh, profit uh, profitable but i don't see any practical skills that people uh, can make a living out of it and he said no like it's massive save so you can't add anything to it and i said okay so he went into it i think they were meeting at cultural center kumasi here I said that's fine. So they started, and in less than two, three months, it it collapses. It it couldn't because I didn't see the business model in it. Like, what is the business actually about? Just calling people to to come and be part of X Y, and the more you call, the more you get money. I didn't see these other skills. So that was it. Massive save, and then went by. And before actually, I went to meet these guys in Accra. I I met one woman also in US. Um, they are in Sherlock Shopping. Sherlock Shopping. Um, I think it's something like this. Sherlock Shopping. Yeah, Sherlock Shopping. They are also there. So these two men were just on me, just on me, just on me to to register. And what they do is, um, let's say for example, it's like they do comparison of prices. I don't know, maybe if the business model has changed now. But then uh, we connected on Skype when we did Skype call. So they actually, uh, how do you call it? do price comparisons let's say you want to buy iPhone or you want to buy let's say Samsung Y or Samsung X from let's say eBay if eBay tells you it's 200 cities or 200 dollars that instant how do you know how much Amazon or like yeah Amazon is charging for that same product how do you know how much is um, is Alibaba charging or like if you go to Tonaton, how much will I get that same product? You don't know. Yeah, unless maybe you go individually, you go to Amazon, you search for that product, you go to eBay, you search for that product, you go to Alibaba, you search for that product. All the marketing platforms, then you do that comparison and see which price is better than you buy. So Sherlock Shopping, they have one particular like like kind of a consolidated platform, if I should call it that way. So if you search for iPhone X, then you see your uh, this is how much Amazon is selling it. This is how much eBay is selling it. This is how much Alibaba is selling it. So 
whichever price is okay for you then you just click that price and then you go to the main site and then you buy it so that is basically the, the the business idea so if you recommend someone and the person instead of going to ebay street to buy that product if the person buys the product through the platform you he will log in definitely and do and there are these referral codes so they'll be able to track you recommended the person so anybody who buys through that then you get your commission so uh, i think she's called is it person her name is person um I'm, I'm not sure we are, it's, we are still connected on WhatsApp, um, but um, I'm, I'm not uh, interested in that product. So that was the, um, how do you call it, the Sherlock shopping before the massive sale. And she, she actually linked me to um, one guy that a country director in Accra, they uh, just I have all the chat history, so I link up with the guy. At, uh, it didn't work out. It didn't work out didn't. because before this thing became like some buzzwords in the country, I've already had an exposure of it because of those two years' of experience, and not exposure with network marketing, but exposure with doing business online. I know you really have to get the skills before you can. You can how do you call it? in something like a hundred dollars so if someone comes up and tell me uh, if you add x plus y you get z and z is four thousand dollars i kind of wonder that so that is that always be on the back of my mind you really need a good skill you really need to 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 sit up to before you can make a living on the internet on the internet what i was doing one of the things for example i was doing was um, um, like content creation and you can see it here. Um, um, what is that site? It's, it's part of the things I've listed here. I, I, I made it with blogging. Um, this is the woman who taught me everything. The woman who taught me everything. Jackie Lopez, California, Santa Barbara. That's where she is. Uh, that is it, content creation. It's not like creation, create something. This is create, like uh, C-U-R-A-T-E. It was one of the things that I was doing with uh, the, the woman. And this alone is not easy. If someone say, just do this at the end of the month, I'll, I'll get you like, I'll, I'll pay you $100. And what basically you are going to do is, for example, if you check my site there are i have one two three four five um one two three four five six seven eight i think about nine articles on the site <laughs> that just so <laughs> only nine articles on the site and the last one i did uh, july 20th that was the last article i published on, on the site so what it means is i don't have much resources on the site like much information that will let if somebody come to the site well he will look at this he will look at it he'll say okay there are videos here there are articles here let me read this let me read this it's like you are to waste the person no waste like to use the person's time on the site maybe if he comes and then uh, there's nothing you just leave but you want him to stay for long so what people normally do is uh, after developing the site the developer is done is finished he's paid his money he's gone the articles you have to put on the site that's not the responsibility of the developer you have to write your articles and then publish them and say for example if you are into accounting let's say you are an expert in accounting you've chatter you have other skills and you want to build a site that shows these are your skills so people can link up with you what you do is you will be writing a lot of articles about accounting procedures a lot of articles if let's say you are into poultry farm and you really want people to you want to be the go-to online after building a site you have your poultry farm you have your menu you have your contact you have your home page 
you have to show your expertise on the site so you'll be writing articles about let's say portrait management how to get the best out of maybe your poultry how to take the how to control the heat the size how to build it which direction you, sh you should face all these expertise you have to be writing articles on and then putting them on the site so not like the person will just see the menu is there contacted me uh, contact me your portrait farm is there and then that's it the person will have that belief. no the article the person will read about that portrait farming or whatever business you are into that is what will convince the person that no <laughs> this guy this guy yeah he's good in this field now you imagine your portrait farm how will you even get time to come and sit and then be writing these articles and if you look at it ideally uh, every week minimalistic one you should write one article you should write one article if every week you're able to write two that's fine that's fine that's for you such a site it's not a new site so such a site is every week you write one or like two then that's fine and minimum of that should be like uh you normally recommend a minimum of 300 ways per article it can be as any long as you want but it should be minimum of 300 so like how to write these pictures get uh, this article get get the pictures fit them well and do all the technical things every week dedicating that time is not easy so, so what people normally what companies do is after setting up the site then they will hire a content creator then they will push that to you that populate our site for us with let's say 200 articles about portrait farming for that 200 articles a minimum of 300 words each and in each one you have to get at least one picture or like one image and put it, put it there and then you publish that 200 articles on on the site then the person will pay you for that writing that 200 or 100 articles the person can say maybe if you get this done i'll pay you like hundred dollars or like one fifty dollars it was a fifty dollars for for that and it sounds something like small but if you actually publish and you seem to think about hundred articles it's not easy it's not something you can take even a week to do or like two weeks because you definitely have other things doing so that hundred articles can take you like a month and that is just content creation so you it's not like online you register something and then you sit and relax you wake up and it's double your money is double no you really really have to work hard and what you actually basically do with the content creation is uh, you're not starting the article writing from scratch for example it's about portrait management you look for portrait sites that already have content then you read what they say uh, the farm what they wrote on their site about portrait management then you also read about a uh, AB farm. You read about a two B farms, Doma East. Now, what they have written, and you made it to create one content out of that. You read here, you read here, you read. Then you get a fair idea of uh, what portal management is. Then you will create a unique content out of these ones you read, and that is just what will give you one article. Then you read another sample articles again maybe about how to feed the best way to feed the portrait farms then you read you read you read you read you read and then you made it and then you get another article that is two so it will be a day you can just produce about one article if you really have to do a good work that when someone comes to read on your uh, on your site be very convincing to the person to know that no this company they know what they are doing <coughs> so this is this is just content creation and Look, if you are not careful, the whole month you can just do about ten articles. You can just do about ten articles, and that's the nature. You can sit twenty-four hours, like trying to get the best content so that you put it on that site, so that you put it on that site. And there are negotiations. You can say if I put it on your site, and let's say two thousand people read it, aside the hundred dollars I'm picking, if two thousand people read that article, you pay me X amount more. Or if XYZ people share it, that means it's, it's good content. So 
or people if at the end like the comment part people like it then you pay me maybe one percent commission or like something like that so it's not like uh, just copy and paste you really have to see to get the best of content out of it for example i have um articles i write on modern ghana if uh, modern ghana slash if you go modern ghana slash editor slash uh, digital entrepreneurship i i have articles there and no article took me less than a week to to to, to write this this article and you can see some of the articles on my site about that uh, scammer who claims up to be an apple uh, worker so uh, later i realized he's from nigeria it got to a point that uh, like he, he was processing my visa so i had to pay some uh, two percent of the whole money and that cost like um, i think around three hundred dollars so now when he used to give me the uh, how do you call it there was union details then i realized it's a nigerian in in dubai <laughs> The, the, he's in US, but when it was to do the payment, he told me that to buy the the tax system there is good, so I should already deposit the amount into the Dubai account. <laughs> I realized, I said, well, okay, I've put all those things on my site. The visa he got for me, the the working permit, uh, all documents he actually sent me, I published them on the site, so that at least it, it, somebody will be able to know what these guys are doing. None of these articles I wrote took me like a less than a week. There are others that would take like a month, just one article to to to, to, to publish. So that is that is how it pays. If you are even just doing content creation on a site, it's it's not easy. It's not easy. And whichever field you are taking, it's not easy. For example, if you want to do that um uh, accounting or let's say you are good in uh, let's say bio uh, bio agri or agro business or whichever you are doing your site as even aside the articles you have to do videos or let's say you want to build a, a tourism business and you want to do it online for for it to be really really uh, like uh, uh, resourceful you see the, the whole thing is Whatever you are doing, if there is value in it, people will pay for it. Doesn't matter whether it's online or offline. If there is value in it, people will pay for. It. So that is the basic thing. So if you have to do like a tourism site and uh, you, you build a site, you you put you see female monkeys, they are there. And you think that just that can fetch you money? <laughs> that that just that cannot do anything. It, it won't work. It won't work. You really have to be going to site doing videos of sites you really have to be giving advices if you go you have the things you should like you should have the knowledge of it yourself you should have the knowledge of it yourself and then put those things on the site and so if anybody comes you know that no this guy knows what he's doing so in that case then you realize uh, people if they want to visit they definitely contact you and then you will know how you monetize those things. If I take you here, I'll charge you this. If I take you there, I'll charge you this. So those are another thing. So yes, I'm I'm just going round, 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 round. So you can have a feel of what it is doing things online. What it is? It's it's not easy. It's, look, I've ever sit 27 hours. It's just sitting like this, 27 hours. 27, 24 hours a day. I sat in the morning. Sat, sat, sat till evening till the next day morning again some ad additional hours before i went to bed the only time i'll get up is if i have to pray that time i was at the uh, yeah, there was one guy there uh no really i'll call rain if food and he go and buy for me so that 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 is it 27 hours just sitting to do a work it I was populating one site like that with content. You have to download, 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 sit, read, 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 read. This paragraph is very good. You copy it and you put it in your new text and then you reword it. If you reword it, then this paragraph is good. This paragraph. So that you even have to watch videos. 
to understand the topic you have to write 100 articles about and a thing you can do this thing in today like one hour online no you can't you can't so it's really business it's very profitable but it's just the same as offline one if you don't have the skills forget it forget it it's not like you network marketing they are telling us look even if you take network marketing the, and let me do this disclaimer i'm not saying it's it's something bad the network marketing i'm not saying it's something bad it's a real business people are doing it people are making it big people are making it big 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 i uh, there was one guy that was when massive save came um one guy he found me on uh linkedin and that was i think that was the last year there about he found me on linkedin and then he called me that uh, he has a business deal to share with me here. Yeah. I smile and I say, network marketing. He said, no, it's not network marketing. I said, what is it? So he said, a business proposal. We have to sit and discuss. You know it's good. And basically, all those into network marketing, that is their approach. If he, I have a business deal to discuss with you, that's what. I actually went to their training and I saw it. Massive save. That is how they are trained to approach people so but i've been in that industry since 2011 so he contacted me 2017 i have a business deal so straight away i told him jack it's network marketing is there no it's not network marketing this guy followed and and you see let me admit here those into network marketing i just like their courage they never give up they never give up they will and that is the critical, like, uh, how do you call it, qualities of what an entrepreneur you should get. That zeal to follow, to follow your customer or your client, to follow, to follow, to follow. Look, the guy followed me like three weeks, called here and there, always like, that you just come and see what it takes. And all these three weeks, I insisted, if it's not network marketing, what is it about? He said, no, you come, I'll tell you what it is. Just come and have the, the vision. I told him, look, I, I know about Massive uh, massive Sip. I know about Sherlock Shopping. And uh, there were other systems, other, other ones that came in between the way, they weren't that popular. I just had to do with light. Uh, you have the, some site you recommend. They have a lightning system, so like bulbs and other things. So if you recommend people buy, then you, a, a whole lot of it. I listened, 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 and I said, no, 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 it's on network marketing. And he said, okay, and that's fine. So one of the days I went, it's around stadium, Kumasi, I went and uh, there was, I attended, many people were there, and uh, it was this guy who did the presentation. There were two, uh, uh, Java, say Java, he did it, and it's, I just like that guy. Look, I laughed through throughout the, the the presentation. He's very great. He's very great. Very, very, very great. I must in, in presentation. It was serious. Like he can present the whole day. You don't feel like sleeping. You don't feel like sleeping. But what I realized was uh, a lot of people there. It's like they've never even heard of uh like that concept of business recommend someone the next day if you double your money will double they, they've never heard something like that so we went through and they shared paper those who want to register they registered and i i didn't register but i enjoyed the how do you call it these lectures i really enjoyed it. so after I, <laughs> the guy came to me the how did you see it? And I told you it's network marketing. <laughs> you are saying it's not network marketing. And he said, no, it's affiliate marketing. <laughs> and I said, hey, so, okay. Because I didn't call it affiliate marketing. That is, that is uh, why you were insisting, no, it's not network marketing. It's affiliate marketing. I said, okay, you know what? Uh, the model is the same. The mod like the, the basic structure is the same, whether network marketing or affiliate marketing. So like, uh, they are actually called multi-layer marketing and it can be affiliate marketing it can be network marketing for like uh, if you say affiliate marketing like uh, if you take this massive say for example 
if you sell their products you get commission that's for affiliate marketing if you sell you get commission let's say if you sell to let's say a let's say if coffee let me use names if let's say coffee sells to kwame kwame will get a commission if kwame sells to kwaku kwame will get but kofi will not get i think that is uh, let me see if a first person sells to b a second person you get commission you the one who did and if the second person sells to c third person if b sells to c then b will get commission but a will not get commission that is affiliate marketing but for network marketing whatever selling that goes the first person will still be getting commission from those sales that goes on but for affiliate marketing you will not get those uh, commission if you sell to b you get your commission unless you sell direct to c then you get your commission but if you sell to b and b sells to c you will not get a commission from c and for network marketing yeah you, you have that uh, image even those that sell after you after you after you you can still come back and and and, and get that commission so i explained to him i said masa this is what i was just talking about that it it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way and the same presentation java did it's like subscribe today then the next day like uh, everything of your life will change in two weeks and uh, I didn't buy the idea, but you can go into people program and then you start bombarding them. It's not true, it's not true, they'll kick you out. So I just kept quiet. And actually, in that same place, too, I proposed the same thing like what I did to the massive same guy that look, we can team up and run digital entrepreneurship. A lot of things, if people want to do online, a lot of them are there. And then we can add the market, uh, the the network marketing. He said, no, it's not possible. He said, it's not possible. We can do it that way. But actually, he said something that was a bit sensible to me. That like, uh, the whole structure they built is for massive sale. So they will not allow to add a third product, like third party service to it. And I said, okay, that's fine. So I I left them there, and I didn't join. I like massive sale. I enjoy. It. I I'm not saying like uh, like it's not good. I'm not saying it. You are selling product. It's good. It's good. You are selling product. My only issue is you don't get rich overnight. That is that is just my whole thing. It, there's nothing on the internet you get rich overnight. There is nothing like that. There is nothing nothing like that. And. It's not just the intent. That's how business is. And if I'm to refer back to what my friend said, uh, that accounting guy, money by is teacher is scarce. You don't get it cheap. So that is that is. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sure of going forward there will be some noise behind it, behind the the voice. Uh, nearby building is on in the generator. I don't know what for first light so anyway let's move on so all these things are to let you know that look there is that business online but it's not overnight it's not overnight look you can go online and see people have really made big with network marketing but they've spent no less than 10 years not less than 10 years doing network marketing so if he comes to organize a program and then he tells you look the next two months three months you are going to get rich no it's not like that and the sad thing is you register and get get to the other platform then now they will, it will turn to a motivational platform because they know you are in practical like terms you are not getting what they told you you will get so they end up motivations work hard work hard <laughs> that is the whole thing you should tell the person from the beginning it's a big deal but it's not easy to get somebody to come and subscribe and one thing is if you don't like the product forget it if you don't like the product forget it like the massive C that books um, I think it's called a uh, regenerating health or something like that health regeneration or health regenerating health something like that 
that's what their product was about. I don't have interest in it. I'm not a health worker. And I don't have any knowledge of that product, so I didn't like it. The one for Sherlock shopping, it actually attracted me. Not because I know overnight I'll get rich, but it's something I actually like myself. If I'm buying things online, I should be able to to, to compare those products. And I do a lot of things online. So if I'm marketing such a product, that is fine. If I decide. So if you want to go into the network marketing, please. It's not like the next day you're going to get rich. But do it with that consistency of how you try to get customers. You you make it a headway. But it's not like six months, one year, or two years that that money they show you in the chart of the four thousand and every month or two thousand every month. It's not like that. It's not like that. So is it profitable to do online business? Yes, it's very profitable to do online business. If you have the skills and the inter entrepreneurship quality, you can you can you can do it. So that is uh, what the profitability is. And in the platform, yes, I think we can run through this quickly. It's simple, your platform is the internet. Or your key platform is the internet. So, um, your key platform is the internet. That is uh, what you'll be using most. most. You'll be using other digital channels, all right? as if you have but if you don't I think the internet should be enough for you to run your, your, your business and then then, then the next one definitely will be subsequent videos that will explain this thing so you are looking at that over if you are for take it down and digital entrepreneurship and then what businesses can be digitized um, if you look at these things we are going through I can see Every business, you can put it on the internet. Every business, every business you can put it on the internet. But the thing is, some make much sense to put on the internet than the other. That is one thing we have to look at. For example, if um, um, how do you call it? Is if you have a service that you render to the age. Uh, the old people, people who are 70 years and above, they are the people you, you market your products to. Yeah, maybe somewhere outside, and even there, if you look at the statistics, those are not the most majority online. In Ghana, just a few of people over 70 years are. Uh, are on the internet. So if, if that is the, your target, then uh, <laughs> if you try to put it on the internet, especially in Ghana, that means you have to pass through some other people before you, you get your main target. Like maybe their children are on the internet, so they will have interest in it and then they will buy for the main target you are looking at. So in that case, I think you, you can look at other alternatives of uh, running your business and telling me you can, you can manage some aspects of it on the internet like the accounting aspects maybe online excel and all those things and and so that is it the other than that um whatever business you do basically you can put it on the internet but just have to look at your customers like are they there or there's the possibility they will get there hey, if they are not even there now and there's possibility they can get there. I think you can start looking at those things. And um let me make this clear. For example, there is no specific thing you have to run on the on the internet. And people always get the impression this is for the IT guys, like <laughs> the digital entrepreneurship is not it's not for the IT guys. Whatever business, if you look at examples I use like the portrait farm, if you look at the accounting, like maybe you're a health, you're a nurse, you're a teacher, like, look, it's best for teachers, especially if you want to grow yourself and later like run like a consultancy things, and forget, that is your platform, the, the internet, nurses, like if 
uh, someday you want to have that experience of opening your own facility or run a consultancy service in, in, in nursing and and I think these are these are the mindset of everyone working someday to do his own thing so you better look at the internet as quick as possible to to, to do your thing so whichever skill you have whichever skill you have try as much and push it to the internet not instantly our platforms are not that strong but going forward our systems will be that big to cater for so basically uh, just look at your target are they online is there a possibility they will be online and that, that's it so if you look at the services i am running and you look at my target the graduates i'm target actually targeting the graduate the tertiary student the napco recruit with basically four part of their own tertiary guys and these are people mostly online and if uh, you check in the same ITU data of 2017, about 70% of the youth, they are already online. In Like if you take the world as a whole, it's about 50%, but for the youth, they are online a lot. For if you just take the youth, about 70% of them are online. So it's basically the old age who are pulling the percentages back when you, you make them. So that is it. Uh, we've seen what is it. We've seen uh, who can be. We've seen... Um, is it profitable? Yes, it's profitable. Depending on what skills you have, and then uh, the entrepreneurship skills you have, and then we've also seen which businesses can be digitized, and that's it. So, we've seen those ones too. And I want them. Um, finally, I would like to talk about before we close for basis. Um, I've been using the words. I've been missing them up. The guitar entrepreneur, the guitar internet, web, online, those things. So, what are, what are the basic differences? Now, let's start from digital. Um, for this explanation purpose, let me see. Digital is anything you can put on the computer. Anything on the computer is digital. Anything on the computer is digital. So, if you look at, if you say digital, you're basically looking at the the computer and if you have to go to the technical aspect of it uh, if, if water is flowing you see it's analog uh, because it has different uh, wavelengths like or if you, you don't know the exact maximum you don't know the exact minimum let me put it that way you don't know the exact maximum you don't know the exact minimum but it's difficult doing calculation that way so they try to find a way to make it in such a way that the maximum will be known the minimum will be known like they said my less as well, maximum is one minimum is zero so or if it's on the light if it's on is one if it's off is 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 zero so and they use this idea to build computers so, so that things on it it's it's so complex like if you if, if you are interested in mass you are going to binary uh, systems and these things will be clear that's what makes the data but for our purposes let's understand in the point that uh, anything that you can put on the computer or your online is the data like uh, if you do a flyer on your phone you are sending on whatsapp that flyer is the data if you send sms text message that is the data if uh, if you do radio announcement, that is that is not the data. If uh, yeah, so, the data I mean you are using the the computer. If you move from house to house selling your product, you are not using the data means. You are not using the data means. And uh, so those are some of the things. Are some of the things. So basically, that is the data. And under the data. Let's see, this is the digital. So, and from the digital, then we have those that have to do with the internet. Those that have to do with the internet. There are those that have nothing to do with the internet. For example, if you say Facebook, it has to do with the internet. 
if we send SMS, it has nothing to do with the internet. So if your business is about SMS, then it's a digital business, but it's not an internet business. If your business is SMS, it's a digital business, but it's not an internet business. Because sending SMS doesn't use the internet. So that is, if you take for example, uh, if we are marketing the products, uh, it's but mostly all the cities you can find that uh, they have that digital sign board uh, and logger here you see it I've seen a lot of them are circle like now the advertisement is like a billboard that changes it's like video movies they will be showing movies and other things hey that is digital you're using digital platform to 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 market your product but that's not the internet you are, you're not using the internet it can be done using the internet where they will, they will pick the adverts from the internet but this medium of doing it is not the internet so you can have a business that is digital all right but it's not the internet now if you take the internet also so under this you can have um, the internet and then do that that is not about the internet so you say not internet and if you take the internet also for example if uh, the same Facebook, for example, the Facebook runs on web, like it's a website, so it's run you know, on the web. But if you are using Skype to market your product, if you are using WhatsApp to market your product, WhatsApp is not running on the web. It's running on the internet, all right, but not on the web. And so that is how it is. So the web can also be like online, or like the Skype. Yeah, the Skype is also online. So that is that difference. There are do that has to do with the internet, like Facebook, like YouTube. If you are marketing, uh, running business or marketing products in that way, then you see um, you are using the, the the internet. But there are others; <coughs> they are digital, but they are not using the internet. I use example like SMS. Um, which other way? Which other way? Um, let's say there can be an internal company network that you use to send SMS or you use to share flyers and other things or to send information. <coughs> hey, they are all digital, but we are not using the internet to do them. So they are digital, all right, but they are not internet business. If it's business, it's digital business, but it's not internet business. And if you take the internet business, there are those that has to do with the website, like the web. The, those are the ones you see beginning with www so those ones are form part of the web or like the https if you see those things in your browser then that means it has to do with the web www or um, if you open google and if well it is to come full where yeah, you see https so that means that has to do with the web but if you log into skype that doesn't have to do with the web it's internet all right but it's not the web so that is how those things so if you are a web entrepreneur then that means you are telling us all your things are just on the web it's on the internet all right but the web aspect of the internet and if you are internet entrepreneur then that means sms and those things are not part of yours take it like like strictly speaking but these things we do make them so that's why we, we are free to use whichever word we want. But the whole concept now is basically becoming around the, the internet. So those are some of the best ways to see. And another final thing is about digital marketing. It's, it's all the same thing. The digital marketing is just the marketing aspect of the digital entrepreneurship. And getting business ideas, uh, running the business, doing the accounting aspect of the business, and then uh, growing your business uh, these are all things about digital entrepreneur but they are not the, uh, the marketing aspect the marketing aspect from the digital marketing and if you say digital marketing to the same thing that means you are both looking at the digital it can be the internet it can be the non-internet and if you can say internet marketing that means you are marketing the product considering only the internet the internet and if you say web marketing to be the same thing, you are marketing your product using just the web, the the, the www or the the https platforms to marketing. So 
Digital marketing also comes under the digital entrepreneurship because as an entrepreneur, you have to market your product. So, if um, my my whole model, if you look at the whole model, is it's everything about digital marketing is in it, and then other things too uh, that makes you a complete entrepreneur. For example, <laughs> entrepreneur, you should be able to. Uh, to write a business plan, you should be able to write a proposal, you should be able to pitch your business to investors, you should be able to uh, do accounting, balance your books and see those things. So uh, these are all part of the package we, we, we run, uh, the digital entrepreneurship. And uh, Kumasi here, you can find it at Kumasi High if you are doing it. Accra, hopefully, very soon we'll be starting it. And, uh, hope uh, people will to be beneficial to people. Let like, hope there will be value in it, and because if there is that value, people will pay. People will pay for. So basically, this is uh, the whole concept of uh, digital entrepreneurship. We are an entrepreneur, all right, but you're running your business using the digital platforms. And then, uh, is it profitable? Should we even go? Should you finish school and say, no, I'm going to do my own thing? Yes, it's very, very profitable. But take note, you are taking a big risk. You are taking a big risk. But if you have that zeal, you can do it. If you have that zeal, you can do it. So that is, that is it. And to do it, first of all, you have to make sure you, you have that skills. You have something that has value that people will buy, people who are ready to pay for. And if you are not the go-to in your society or in your country or in your district, forget it. Forget it. If you come online, you disappear. You you, you subscribe to an account that I have this group, but no one will mind. So that is it. Let's end it here. Uh, let me just do a, a little plea. Like, these are kind of raw tutorials I do. My tools are not the best. Like, my camera is worse. It's not that clean. And uh, my recording to I'm just using my head pin, uh, the headphone for the mask, microphone. My background is not the best, so but uh, I hope the, the content is good. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll have a good studio and then with a good lightning system and everything will be, will be, will be really nice. Okay, so on this note, we say wassalam.